Hey, um, my name's Dan. This is my first proper video for YouTube, and I'm a student from the UK living in Sweden for a year. Um, but that's only been for the past month and a half or so. So, um, this is probably about my tenth attempt to make this video. I'm getting very tired, but I'm going to press on anyway because it's something that's really close to my heart. Um, and something I really want to talk about and I really really want people to discuss because I think it's wrong um, and this is inspired by a guy called Roly Roly um, Gasher I don't know how to say that um, who did a video called Straight Acting versus Feminine Gay Guys um, which I thought was quite interesting and thought provoking um, but this really doesn't have much to do with the content of video per se um, but it's more to do with discussions conversations I've had with people over the notion of what is straight what constitutes straight behavior what constitutes gay behavior um, and something I quite often hear when it, it comes up in conversation that I'm gay is, oh, I wouldn't have known, or, oh, you don't seem it, which is fine, like, that doesn't bother me, um, because we all have certain preconceptions, we all have certain, yeah, we all have certain preconceptions, and we, as human beings, like to, like to know who we're talking to, we like we like there to be an identity for the person we're talking to, so in a box they can we can put them in perhaps, and which can sometimes lead to some quite unnecessary stereotyping or whatever. But I think for the most part it's just natural, and then you know your preconceptions are shattered, and then you move on, or whatever. And most people are like, oh okay, I didn't know that, and that's fine. Like that doesn't bother me. Um, but something which does bother me, and something which I do think is wrong, is when I come out to that person, and then they'll go, oh, okay, I didn't know that. And then, after a while, they'll say something like, oh, yeah, I just hate these guys who are like, you know, always acting up, or always ramming it down your throat, or something like this i don't know what these people say and i do not prove it just and I, when people say this to me i just don't know i don't know how to respond because it's just so ignorant that it's like a slap in the face and it's just like i'm sorry but prejudice is prejudice and you if you don't if you only deign to accept gay people or who you perceive to be fitting in with the norms of society, then you're then you're prejudiced. You, you should if you don't accept all people who are gay, then you don't accept any people who are gay. And just because I don't happen to be very visibly gay or camp or whatever or however you would describe it doesn't mean that I'm going to be happy with you talking shit about these people, like, these camp guys or butch lesbians or whatever, like, I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not going to stand for it, and I'm not going to stand for, and I'm, I'm not just pointing the finger, and this is a very small minority of people who, who feel this way, I have to say, um, but I'm not, and I'm not just pointing the finger at people who are straight, I mean, there are gay people who think along these lines as well, and it really upsets me. So, for instance, I had a very well-reported instance of this in the media, actually. Um, I think Stonewall, quite recently, or at least over the summer, did a list of 100 most notable gay people, which was published. And a journalist in The Independent, um, did a feature on the top 10 least influential gay people in Britain and one of the people she profiled was Louis Spence who I hadn't heard of before, I have to admit, before this this um, 
this came to light, all this stuff. Um, but he's a, he's a dancer, he's been working perhaps for 15 years, he's, he's been behind some amazing productions, he's really, really, he's really well known in his field and he's incredibly talented. And this guy, and this reporter said that this, oh, I wish I remembered the exact words she used, but she said this camp or preening or some, something like that, and that he, his type will soon be as dead as the dinosaurs or something. And that is the kind of attitude I'm talking about, that, that he, he is, the, not, he is a, the kind of gay who is not, not acceptable, you know? We only want, we only want one image. And, um, yeah. And Stephen Fry did a fantastic, did a fantastic response to that. Which, I can't remember anything about, I can't remember what he said, but I'll post them down here so that you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about, because I'm not expressing myself very well today. Um, but yeah, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Um, and I, on the one hand, with people who, people who are gay who say, who express frustration with this whole, you know, about this whole thing, we express frustration with people who are camp or whatever, I don't like it, but I can kind of see where they're coming from. I guess I felt like that at one point in my life or at certain points in my life. Um, definitely when I was a kid, growing up and realizing that I like men, there was sort of, there was one, there was one type of gay guy who was considerably overrepresented on TV and like, I guess I didn't have many role models apart from them, so they became my role models and that was, that was fine. Um, I think what what you have nowadays is a more much more nuanced picture of people who are gay, at least in different, at least in, there are, there are quite a few examples I can think of, like for example, um, there was John Paul, the John Paul and Hollyoaks, his storyline, and um, Aaron and Jackson in, in um, Emmerdale, and those were really, really poignant those are really poignant storylines, and I'm not going to undermine their importance, especially with Aaron's storyline, because, like, the kind of frustrations that his boyfriends were having was something I can relate to. Um, having been in a relationship, being in a relationship with someone who's had um, problems with himself along lines that Aaron has come into terms of things. Etc. And I think it's a really important storyline, but I'm just worried that there might be a danger of these so-called straight acting gay guys being the only being the only kind of representation which is deemed to be credible. And I don't. I think that I think that would be very sad. I think I want. You know, I, I want everyone to be represented, and from the very, very, very camp to the you wouldn't register at all, the everything in between. Like, that's equality, you know? So, next time someone comes to me um, and says that they find that certain gay men are too much, well, I'm going to become too much for them. I'm going to give them a piece of my mind, because this is an issue that really pisses me off, okay? So that's all I have to say. Thank you.